Hello everybody, thank you for taking time out of your day to click on this video. Today I bring you the GTX 1080, not even out of the shipping box yet, and we're going to run it with uh, against some Blender benchmarks and some other various scenes to see how this card performs compared to other GTX NVIDIA cards as far as rendering goes in a 3D rendering engine. Hello guys, for this GTX 1080 benchmark and it's Blender, I'm going to be using Blenchmark. Go to Blenchmark.com, uh, hover over here and select to download. You then can download a zip file, which you just import as an add-on in Blender. You can see I oh, have it right there. Sorry. So, it's really simple. All you do is go render, benchmark. Run benchmark now. Now, the thing is, is Blender 2.77a does not support the right kernel modules for the GTX 1080. So what I had to do is I had to go and find a third-party module to put into the source code of Blender to so it could actually run it on the 1080, which means that it's not optimized whatsoever. And there's going to be a big dip in performance from what you're going to see in the future when more stable releases of Blender come out with, with support for the 1080. So um, what you're seeing right here isn't completely 100% accurate or reflective. I mean, it's reflective of the performance, obviously, but not to the extent of it's, that it's going to be in the future. So without further ado, I'll just let you guys, I'll start the benchmark for you guys, or er, for you, and we'll, uh, you guys can see how it runs. All right, so that's it, it's done. It took one minute and 13 seconds or 73 seconds. And um, all you have to do is go send results and it'll send your time to their website, which you can then view like a graph. I already have it here because I sent it in earlier. GE4 GTX 1080, which is actually the one I sent in earlier. So here you see we have 73 seconds and it does beat a lot of good cards like the 980 Ti and um, a Titan Black even, and some, so some, some pretty good cards, you know, two 960s, but a lot of the other cards that beat it are mid-range to higher cards running an SLI. You can see at the top, we even have four GTX 1080s there. It took nine seconds, which is extremely fast. So, yes, and um, here's just kind of a simplified, simplified chart I made. You can see the, uh, the 1080 there the 980, a Titan Black, and a 980 Ti, and like I said before, it's not even optimized all the way, so expect to see good improvements in Blender in the future. Um, yeah, so I apologize for not putting out many videos lately. I was actually in the process of rebuilding my entire PC just so I could buy the 1080 and uh, have enough power to use that. So yeah i hope you guys enjoyed hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe or, or dislike if you like whatever you want to do and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye